Welcome back to a new, brand new vlog. Uh, today, we today marks the first day of the Winter Beater Project car. I don't know how many episodes this series will be, uh, but we have to do a, a whole bunch of work to the project car. So we're gonna get all of that on film for you guys. If you have any requests of stuff to do to this vehicle, please put them in the comments and we will, I will try my hardest to get those videos and repairs and projects done to this uh, vehicle to show you guys how stuff is done or how stuff is not done. So without further ado, let's cut straight to my brand new beater. I hope you guys like it. We made it to my buddy's place um, with the new vehicle. Um, there it is, in all its glory. Um, I didn't get any video footage of this, but it was quite the journey to bring this thing out here. Um, <coughs> look at that thing, it's still smoking. Yum. Anyhow, um, so yeah, it was quite the journey to bring this thing out. This is a 2002 uh, Nissan Xterra. Uh, it's a supercharged model. Uh, I bought it knowing that it had a blown head gasket. So um, the owner was driving it and all of a sudden it just started puffing white smoke out the back. He stopped it got it towed to the mechanic, got the quote and said, okay, I'm selling it. So, um, just rebuilt the five-speed tr manual transmission. Uh, the rest of it looks in pristine condition. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we decided to give it a go and uh, try to drive it all the way out here to our Drossen. Uh, so, uh, let me just recap the story, our journey, because I didn't catch it on video. We uh, left his plate, we filled it up with a jug of coolant, it wasn't quite full. Left his place, uh, we made it just to the city limits when uh, it overheated. The needle got was pinned, I was watching it the whole time, so I just, I was smoking like crazy, just clouds and clouds of white smoke. So Here we have Trevor's new beater. Look at it go. Pulled over, parked it. We were close to home, so we went home for a few hours, let it cool down. Came back, topped it up with another jug of coolant. This time, putting the jug of coolant made the coolant full, completely full to the top of the rad. Um, and we decided to go again. So we made it uh, halfway through Sherd Park when I hear a loud poof and then air escaping. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, that's not good, and I see the smoke coming out of the hood. So I pull over again, and the temperature is still good. So pull over, and we f I find uh... oh. nice. 
steam in a way. Anyways, we pulled over. Oh, the lighting's awful here. We pulled over and uh, found one of the coolant hoses had split. And it was right in behind everything where you can't reach it without taking off the supercharger and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, we're like, okay, well, let's just uh, go again. We know the coolant was just filled up, so let's just see. It wasn't overheating yet, so we started going. And all made it outside of Sherwood Park, and just uh, after that, I watched the coolant going, or the temp going back up, and all of a sudden I lose power. So it got too hot, lost power. Uh, I think maybe the supercharger was starting to seize up because it was getting too hot. I'm not entirely sure. So I pulled over, parked it at <coughs> some random road out in the countryside. Ran to my work, grabbed a couple more jugs of coolant. Well, I got some lunch, came back, picked it up again. And then we hobbled it all the way out here and I broke down again. It overheated and quit on me. Literally like five driveways down. So we parked it again, let it cool for about 15 minutes, went and grabbed it and then limped it into here. So that's the story. Um, I wish I had got some of that on video, but uh, we we're just trying to make it out here and avoid any complica other complications. So we just brought it straight out here. So yeah. Um, so we're gonna have to build, rebuild this engine, uh, likely. Maybe just uh, well, I, I lock the keys or put the keys over there. So um, yeah, basically <coughs> we need to uh, at least do a head gasket on here. Uh, it's got 400,000 kilometers, so we might as well just do a rebuild at that point when you got everything apart already. Uh, I'm going to try to do it in that shed over there before it gets cold because that's got no heat. So yeah. So here's some of the reasons I bought this car. Um, just look at it. That looks so mean. I wanted a 4x4. Four four, so I was looking for one. <coughs> I was looking for one. And I Love Nissan, so I bought. I was looking for a Nissan, bought a Nissan. So it's got this uh, this crash bar on the front, which is most of them don't come with that. And I really like that. I was gonna try to design one anyways if uh, I got one without it, but there we go. We don't even have to do that. It's already got it. Uh, it's got this carbon fiber hood scoop. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not, but I don't know if this came factory, but it looks like it's aftermarket. It's got a vent into the hood, so it's functional right into the supercharger. What else have we got going on here? We got some nice wheels, painted black. The guy I bought it from was nice enough to shine the wheels up. He did a really fantastic job of cleaning this thing up. Got that roof rack up on the top. A little bit of lift on the back side. So things we're gonna have to do, we gotta touch up these headlight bezels. Look how chipped they are. Same with the front grill bar underneath, we gotta paint those. They got it 3M'd, which is nice, but we might need to redo that. Uh, that Nissan badge needs to go black. Wiper arms could be painted while we're at it. That trim on the side is faded. So are the mud flaps. That might all go black. Got this awesome roof rack. These came on every single one of these Xterras. The interior is mint. Look at that. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got some nice shifter knobs. It's got some gauges. Boost gauge and a uh, air fuel ratio gauge, so we can take those off and put them on the wagon after winter. Windows are already tinted, and uh, yeah, looks like a pretty good winter beater if we can get this engine working good. 
A little bit of rust building up around the wheel wells, but that's nothing. That's to be expected. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the first step of this project is cleaning up my buddy's garage, which is a bit of a mess here. So, uh... Let's, um, let's clean up. And there we go. All clean. That was easy. Whew. So, now we've got the garage door open. As you can see, we've got some room in here now. So oh, there's the exterior. We got some lovely snow here in Edmonton, Alberta. So let's get this thing in here. Okay, so we got the Xterra into the garage now. There she is. Uh, this is where it is going to sit for the next few weeks as we do an engine rebuild. Um, so let's just have a look here. Carbon fiber hood scoop. Oh, there she is. Yeah, we've got the supercharger right up on top here. And we've got a head gasket over there. Head over there. Came with an aftermarket air filter, which is pretty neat. <coughs> and this fancy heat shield, that works good. <coughs> So there she is. Um, tomorrow we will begin tearing this thing apart. So supercharger's got to come off. Um, basically, basically everything in this valley. <coughs> the coolant hose that I blew. So I can't see it in here. It's um. It's in behind that black hole. So thankfully we're pulling all this off anyways. So that we can get it. <coughs> well, so that we can get at the heads. So that'll be alright. So. All that's got to come off. 
I have to pull exhaust hose to come off. Heads, everything, fuel injectors, spark plugs, heads. Oil's got to get drained out. Coolant's got to come out the bottom. So, yeah. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, so we're going to tear it down first. And then once it's torn apart, we will uh, see what the damage is, if we can rebuild it or not. <coughs> and if it looks saveable, we'll order ourselves a new kit. Battery's got to come out. Look at the corrosion on that. Nasty. You can see it's melting the battery terminal there. We can get let me get this thing to focus. There we go. Yeah, let's see, it's melting the actually melting the battery terminal because of poor contact. That's gotta get replaced. Terminals have to get replaced. Batteries gotta get replaced. Yeah. <coughs> so that's gotta get happen first. Then after that we can uh, start driving it and do other stuff to it. What, what do you think? We'll do some uh, some wider, bigger mud tires. We'll do a uh, we'll do a safari snorkel up this side. We'll get some uh, some lights coming up here, off-road lights, maybe a light bar. We'll get some light bars down in here. <coughs> I might <coughs> might put a throw a winch on there somewhere. It's always good to have a winch when you're off-road. And on the back side. I'd really like to get a uh, spare tire holder because right now the spare tire's up underneath. Um, I seen one for sale. It's a replacement back bumper. It replaces that hitch down there, and then it comes up with a spare weight wheel holder. But they want like eight hundred and fifty dollars for it plus shipping, so that might be down the road. But overall, this thing's in really good condition. We've got just a little bit of bubbling rust here. It's pretty good for 400,000 kilometers. Nothing up on the fronts. Back side's good. This side's just a little bit bad, but uh, that's fine. <coughs> that can be fixed up or just left like that. yeah so that's her and we'll uh, so that's the new project hope you guys like it we will be doing as many projects to this as possible on the channel um, so, <coughs> so please request in the comments what you want to see done to it and um, we'll try to make that happen for you. So, yeah. Um, we'll see you guys again tomorrow, and we'll start tearing this thing down.